What's up, y'all? Shield House here. Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 04 Career. We've got New Hampshire Motor Speedway today. Man, I really want to like this track. I really don't know why I don't. Well, because it's stupid, I guess. It's flat. It races dumb in this game. And sometimes we're really good here. Sometimes we're really bad. I'm really hoping today's one of those days where we're good. We can take another strong finish, just like we had last time out at Chicagoland. Good run at Chicagoland. If we could race Chicagoland 36 times a year, I'd be happy with that. But, yeah, we got to take them as we get them. So we'll figure out New Hampshire, see if we could take a better car out there and not struggle so damn much. That would be, mm, that, that would be nice. After his win at Chicagoland last time out, Tony Stewart stretches that points lead over Dale Jarrett. It's Jeff Gordon in third, Dale Jr., Ryan Newman, Kevin Harvick, Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Mark Martin, and Jimmy Johnson round out the top 10. We find ourselves still holding down P18, but we're inching a little bit closer to Jeff Burton and drawing away a little bit from Jamie McMurray and Ricky Craven. So sort of digging in here to 18th. I'm good with that. We got one race left on this shop upgrade. It's going to allow us to do track specific chassis, which will be great. It'll give us plus 10 on the tire uh, grip, which is great. It was an expensive son of a bitch, million and a half dollars to get it in in six races, but it'll be here. We'll start building that new chassis right after New Hampshire. That'll be nice to get that going, and then we'll figure out what we want to buy after that, see what the biggest area of need is, I guess. Let's put something together for New Hampshire then. We need some good tire grip. Uh, we'll take this one. This chassis, 6973, sounds good to me. The engine shop got three decent options. We've got Pocono up next, and then the Brickyard after that. So those are big power tracks. We're actually going to save both of those motors. We'll run this, I think, at the Brickyard. So we can take this one, 5861. It's not the greatest thing that we've got, but for New Hampshire, I think we can get away with it. And in the body shop, five races left on the new build. We just put body number eight into an overhaul. So we'll take, uh, heck, we'll, we'll, we'll take this uh, fresh body. Why not? Car rating is 68. I can work with that. Say, uh, announcer guy. Got any trivia about New Hampshire? Hello viewers, announcer guy here with some trivia about New Hampshire. Did you know that New Hampshire was the first state to declare independence from England? That's right, they did it in 1775. Also, you can declare independence from crappy products by getting your hands on some advanced GG and using code HOUSE at checkout to save money and support the channel. I heard their new flavor strawberry daiquiri is the best thing since sliced bread. Enjoy today's video, my friends. Alright, here we go for qualifying. <laughs> it's, uh, not much has changed since last time. Really, not much has changed. It's, it's still stupid. But we can, you know, sort of do that deal in the turns the question is, I mean it, it hot laps fine the question is how does it drive over the course of a long run in traffic when I'm around stupid ass AI cars so I think it's okay I just really got to back the corners up I can't really charge the corners too much um, oh boy that's that's that was an interesting interpretation yeah I can't do that but uh, I think we'll be okay in the race I just have to underdrive the car. As long as I remember to underdrive the car, we should be okay. But it's not going to be pole position today. It's going to be P2, it looks like. <laughs> Damn. Really want to be on the bottom, so starting on the outside of the front row is not optimal. That's okay. Hit the line right. Don't overdrive the corners. We'll be okay. All right. Let's get it. Joe Moore and Barney Hall welcoming you to Loudon, home of the New Hampshire International Speedway, for today's New England 300. What can we expect to see today, Barney? They did run a restrictor plate here for a couple of races because of the concern about the accelerators getting stuck open going into these flat corners. They no longer need those plates with the addition of the engine kill switch to all the cars. The switch is on the steering wheel and allows the drivers to quickly shut the engine off if they're going into the corner too hard. The 64 car has been very impressive in qualifying at the speedways. Yeah, but don't forget, Joe, it takes a lot of people working together to get that car starting in the top 10 every week. 
How about the consistency shown by Bobby Labonte? Yeah, and I'm sure he's in for another great ride. Of course, what else is new? When we're at these tracks, he always seems to have a great race. McMurray moved up to Winston Cup after having an impressive year in the Bush Series in 2002. He picked up a couple of wins and finished six in the points last year. Plus, he did an admirable job filling in for Sterling Marlin in some cup runs. Here we go from New Hampshire. Outside of the front row, 75 laps. Let's get it. Oh, I love starting out at the top of the gear in first. Very cool. Okay. Be, be easy on me, boys. Be easy on me here. Be easy on me. Why is Kenny Wall every time? I qualify up front. Kenny Wallace is up here for some stupid ass reason. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna run up here against the wall, y'all. Oh, 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 oh! This isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, nope. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. It, it, it wasn't pretty, but it worked out. Mark Martin might be a little pissed, but we're okay. We're back to 17th. Got a little gap behind us. Everything's fine. There's a very pissed off Mark Martin in the rearview mirror. Number six is outside. Yeah, hey, Mark. Sorry about that. Oh, he hit the wall. Okay. We'll see you later, Mark. On well, an effort to not get absolutely murdered, I, uh, I ended up letting Mark Martin go. He was clearly not happy with me after... Uh, our little scuffle there on the first lap, which is understandable, but we're uh, chilling in P20. We got Johnny Benson right behind us, which is great. And um, just trying to take care of the car right now as best I can. It's it's not driving great, but it's we've had worse. We've fallen into the clutches of a pack back here. Uh, this car is just not very good. Oh, that's not very good either. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry. Oh, man. Put it out. I suck. <laughs> I'm just bad here. I just came across Jeremy and Walter both. Got nailed by Jeff Green. Could have been worse, I guess. Could have been a lot worse for us. Thankfully, just a little bit of rear end damage. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't think there was any way we were going to go caution free in this one. Going to make a little wedge adjustment, free the car up just a little bit so that I'm not plowing my balls off. Maybe I can stick the bottom a little bit better. Uh, going up on air pressure just a little bit too. Get the damage fixed. Other than that, pretty routine stuff looks like. All right, let's get back out there. Get back to it. Oh boy. There were 27th, which again, all things considered, could could be worse. But yeah, this uh I don't know. This track has always been very difficult for me. Um, especially in this game. It just, uh, it doesn't matter. We keep bringing better and better cars here every year. I feel like we always bring a better car and it doesn't feel like it on the track. Oh man, this is not going well. It just, um, yeah, it's not driving very good. I, I don't know, I missed something in the setup. I just missed something. I did take some downforce out of the car. Maybe I shouldn't have. 
Maybe I should have left it all the way in. But we were so slow. Like, we were just noticeably slow on the straightaways. So I, I felt like I needed to take some downforce out of it to help our straight line speed. But whatever I gained in straight line speed, I have absolutely given up and killed in, in terms of corner speed. It, uh, it wasn't worth the sacrifice. I wish I could go back and redo that. Oh, well. There it goes. I don't know what to do with this thing. I really don't. Just uh, it's loose on entry, tight in the center. Not very fun to drive. It's just not fun to drive at all. This is this is pretty standard for us at this track. We spin out a lot here. Always have. Hello, pit crew. Let's get four tires on there. I'm gonna reverse out that wedge adjustment. I don't need to be looser. It's not helping me on corner entry. So we'll we'll take the wedge back out of it. Drop the tire pressure. Just try and give us some some mechanical grip through the tires at least. Need something. Now we're at the back of the pack. That's cool. Let's see if we can use our fresh tires to pass people at least. This is this is usually where things start to go bad. I mean, they've been going pretty bad already. This is about where things will really go bad. Be oh my God. Because I'll start trying to pass people and I'll start making contact and making rivals and yeah. It's, it's been pretty quiet on the rival front as of late. I guess we're ready to spice things up again. Look at this, five wide. We just made a five wide pass. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I would say so. That was pretty cool. That was way cool. God damn it. Look out, look out, look out. Fuck, man. Just spun by myself again. This, that was, I was way too high up the racetrack. That's all that was. Lucky to not get smacked by anybody on the way by, but just too high up the racetrack. I just kicked around. That was frustrating because we were, we were doing okay. Damn it. Back again, boys. More pit stop practice for you. Gonna be four tires and fuel again. I, the car's fine. I just can't drive that high up the racetrack. I just, I'm not very good here. That's that's really all there is to it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm just not very good at this track. <laughs> Back to it again. Uh, about 30 laps or so to go here. Oh. Uh, boy we just need to keep it uneventful and try not to spin it's just the car's so unpredictable unsettled I think I, I don't know if it's the car the track feels like a combination of everything I don't know the 41 car, not bad. pick these guys off but then I see two pissed off drivers right ahead of me that's always fun. Oh my god. Number 16 is gonna make it hard for you to get Yeah, I bet he is gonna make it hard for me. Hey Greg. We'll be seeing you, Greg. That worked out. That was one. Now we gotta get this buddy. Whatever this is. Number one seventy four is going for the block. Sorry. Making new friends as I go about this deal. Who are you? Seth Taylor. I don't know why you're pissed off, Seth, but... Uh, uh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. 
Oh, this is sketchy. We're good. Made it work. All right. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny Wallace. All right, it worked out. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Apparently, Jack Sprague was going to pit right there. News to me. That's the danger in doing what I do, I guess. I didn't realize they were in their pit window. He just turned left like he was going to pit. I was there. God. That was a lot of damage to the right side door. Okay, I'm just going to assume that everybody's pitting here. Give him a nice wide berth. Yep. Okay. It's kind of scary. Well, that'll give us the lead. Johnny Benson was the leader. Now we're the leader. Very cool. Oh, there was a car there. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Yikes. Come on, spotter. You got to tell me there's a car there. Well, there were two cars there. That's on me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want Sorry, everybody. This was taking my very aggressive apex. Didn't work. Sorry, Jeremy. That caution gives us the opportunity to come down and pit ourselves. That'll be our final pit stop of the day. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do to the running order. It's probably all fucked up now. Oop. Rear changer. Knocking over our catch can, man. What else is new? Get the damage fixed on her. All right, boys. Well, let's see where we end up after this. I have I have no Nobody clue. It says out 19th. Is that true? Um, yeah, out 19th. Okay. I'll take it. 20 cars on the lead lap, so that all but guarantees us. Well, there's no guarantees in this game, but that makes it easier for us to get a top 20. Fuck! I thought I was... I thought I was good. There's a wall there, jackass. Damn, dude. I thought I was going to be able to sneak. Or, like, he would move down a little bit or something. He, he just... He held his line. Good for him. That's what he should have done. I was just trying to scam a little bit. Didn't work. <laughs> I am not proud of how many times I have spun out in this race. Oh, there's a mistake on the front changer. Okay. Uh, it's not been a pretty drive from me. I know that. I'm sure y'all are doing your usual in the comments section of telling me how much I suck, and I appreciate that. As if I don't know it myself, I'm well aware. <laughs> but y'all keep doing you. I like it. But 15 laps to go. A couple cars got back on the lead lap there, I guess. I need to not bring out the yellow anymore. Oh, this is going to be... Uh... <laughs> Be smart about it here. Be smart about it. Gas it up and go. Away from Greg. Oh, he's right there. Hey, Greg. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, that had me all fucked up for turn one. <laughs> Oh, man, I smoked. Smoke Nemechek. That's all right. We'll live to talk about it. Ten laps to go here at New Hampshire. We need to get around the 21 car for 15. I don't know where Ricky Rudd is. Oh, yep. Oh, he's super pissed now. Fuck him. Whatever. 
Well, we've been fighting through a lot of the slower cars. Bobby got around me for 16th. But... Oh, caution flag. I didn't cause it. That's going to make a little dash to the end here. Hmm. I did cause it. Oh, it was my debris. <laughs> Damn it. I thought somebody else brought out the yellow for once today. Nope. All me. Shitting out a piece of debris. Uh, oh, we're not going to pit. Let's just send it here on the restart. Fuck it. Good luck, everybody. It's a green-white checker before they had green-white checkers. Yep. Kind of got hung up on Ward there a little bit. That's fine. Got to hold on to a top 20 here. That's really all we need. Number one, tail Don't get turned. I about got turned. About turned myself. That's on me if I did. But I didn't. Fuck off, Jerry. Ooh, we almost clipped that wall right there. That would have been instant spin. That would have been on par for this series and me, but didn't do it. All right. Uh, get to the line. P17. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. Uh, Tony Stewart won again. Wow. That's more like it. We hadn't had any rivals for a while. We had too many clean weeks in a row. That's uh, that is a good amount of red and pretty sure me and Jeremy aren't friends anymore <laughs> Tony Stewart gets yet another win pretty much dominated this whole thing led 64 laps to beat Harvick jr Jimmy Johnson Newman Martin Marlin Bush Kenseth Rusty Wallace We finished in 17th after starting second. We did lead one lap, but there were six cautions and I'm pretty sure we brought out every single one of them and we didn't beat Johnny Benson, so rip that bonus. Yep, didn't get the associate bonus because we didn't beat Benson, but still pretty decent money day, just uh, not optimal. Cool, well, our uh, shop edition came in, so that's a plus. So we're done with the first four in chassis. Got to do this engine dyno plus 10 power. Let's see. Yeah, we're not quite to six race build. We One more good race and we can knock that out real fast. And that would be nice to have. Plus 10 engine power would be great. Um, and then in bodies, we need to get plus 10 drafting. We can spend 900k and get it in six races. So, you know, those aren't bad routes to go. Um, and that's kind of what I'm thinking. One of our next two upgrades should be one of those, right? Plus 10 body drafting or the plus 10 engine power. Decrease repair and overhaul costs for the welding station. I like the sound of having to spend less money when we repair and overhaul shit. Million and a half we can see it in nine races. That's, that's kind of an interesting prospect. Um, I imagine each department has something like this. So engine shop, flow bench, okay million and a half nine races and the body has the laser scanner but we need to do this first to get it but same thing so that's uh that's interesting so we need to do this in order to even unlock this so that kind of says this is the the upgrade we really need to do first or we can do the engine dyno for plus 10 power and getting track specific engines or we can do this flow bench to make repairing and overhauling less expensive. Or we can do that in the chassis side. So y'all tell me what you think I should do. There's a lot of options. But uh, the welding station for lower cost to repair and overhaul the chassis. Plus 10 engine power. Lower repair overall cost in the engine shop. Or plus 10 drafting in the body shop. 
Those are your options. Tell me what you think we should do with our money. That is a big decision, so let me know what y'all think. If you've done those upgrades that make uh, repair and overhaul less expensive, let me know how much less expensive they become. Is it a 5% reduction, 10%? Like, is it big or is it nominal? Just let me know in the comments section what, uh, if you know for sure, how big of a discount you get on that stuff. That, that might help my decision making. But uh, all in all, decent episode. Two out of three on the bonus goals. Didn't beat Johnny Benson today, but we're still doing all right. So, hey, I'll take those. It wasn't pretty by any stretch, but we got there in the end. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you let me know. Leave a thumbs up on the video. A like really helps me in these videos out a ton when you take the time to do that. Really helps them perform better, get out there to a bigger audience, and lets me know that you're enjoying things. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I get asked a lot how long this series is going to go for. Right now, I'm saying at least season five. Season five is going to be our championship season, I believe. Next year and season four will be about getting wins regularly, but uh, season five should be the championship season. How it's progressing now, that's how I see it. So we're not going anywhere for a while, so don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Join our community. I'd love to have you around for future episodes of this career mode. And big shout out to the members out there. You guys are the real ones. Thanks for supporting all the content. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one at Pocono. Well, our... Uh, <laughs>